Hey guys, this is Eric Cortina. Welcome back. Uh, I know it's been a while since I made a video, but uh, we've been really busy with the new house build, and uh, I'm, I'm sure you guys have heard about the weather we've had lately over here in Texas. So anyway, um, as you know, we're gonna we're getting close to getting started on the uh, uh, bullet prep, and I want to show you. Uh, bullet pointer. This is by Whitten Gunworks. A lot of you guys uh, know John Whitten. He's uh, he's an excellent shooter, and uh, he makes a uh, bullet pointing die, and he also makes uh, a full line of uh, resizing dies. So if you need need any of that, just go to uh, you know WittenGunworks.net is his website. Anyway, there's the website right there, and there's this uh, business card. All right, so what's in the what's in the box? Let's see what we get. Uh, some literature. Here's the die inserts, different inserts. Zero and a number one, and. Uh, then we have a seven millimeter sleeve and a six five, and then we have the. Uh, this is where you stand your bullet to uh, when you go to point. So, obviously, this is the body of the die, and uh, if we look at the at the literature that comes with the die, it gives you different. Uh, different bullets and this the the insert number that you would use to point that particular bullet uh, has a pretty wide range of bullets and obviously uh, the ones that we use the most for competition so in uh, in our case we're going to be working with the uh, uh, 136 grain CNR L 65 uh, 6.5 millimeter so uh, Obviously, we go to 264 thousandths or 264 caliber, and uh, we find the Lapua 136 Cinar L, and it calls for a insert number zero. Okay, so we put this away, and uh, we open up the die. <clears throat> Here's the insert number zero, and then we would use the six and a half caliber sleeve. We put these away for now. Um, this is pretty simple. Okay, so the sleeve goes down with a small hole down. The shoulder is going to shoulder up against the body of the die. Then the sleeve goes with the um, with the tapered hole down. That's what's going to do the pointing. Um, let me look at the number one, see if it's marked in any way, shape, or form, so that in case I have both of them outside the bag at the same time, if there's going to be any confusion. Oh, here it is. Um, I don't have a number two, but so number one has a has uh, has a line right here. Uh, it's uh, it's been turned down, so they're pretty pretty clear which one is which. This one has zero grooves, and this one has one groove. So pretty easy way to tell tell them apart. Okay. So, I'm going to put the number one away, because we don't need it. And the number one, let's go back to the literature. You would use it for, uh, you know, burger 75 grain, VOD, the burger 80 VOD, pretty much all the VODs, and the BT targets, bolt tail target. Uh, VOD, VOD. VOD, VOD, pretty much the VODs would, would you would use the uh, 
the VODs and the hybrids, you would use the number one. And uh, all your match kings and CNRs, you would use the number zero. Uh, some of the some of the uh, match kings, like the 69 and 77 grain, you would need a uh, number two. But pretty much for everything I load, uh, all I need is a zero and a one. So anyway, we'll put these away for now. Okay, so again, drop the insert with the tapered side down. There's a uh, spacer in here. That's all I can think this is. So anyway, this goes in here. And you just screw the, the die down. Uh, it has very clear numbers on it. So what I'm going to do, if you can tell, it has a, a scale on the body of, of the die. So I'm going to start with a zero. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to zero the die on here. And what I'm going to do is whenever... And then I'm going to do my rough adjustment here. And I'm going to set it up to where when this, when it's at zero, it's just, it's just touching the bullet. And then I'm going to use uh, this, the, the numbers on the side, on the barrel, to, uh, to dictate how much I'm going to point it. And that's going to, to me, that's going to be the easiest way to do this. Um, so I can keep track of it. So if I just set it up to zero, and uh, again, that should be a very easy way to do that. Now, these are 180s, but you get the idea. This you put in your shell holder, or instead of your shell holder in your press. Okay. Let me see, because I have a Forester, as you guys know, and it does not use shell holders. So I have a shell holder here. So yeah, it would go in your standard 308 shell holder. Yeah, it would fit in your standard 308 shell holder. Or if you have a Forester coax, you would... uh. Obviously, what I do is I actually loosen the tapered screw, uh, the one that opens the jaws, and I drop it in there, and I raise the ram, or I lower the ram, and I loosen that screw, and then it keeps this one locked in place, and then it won't, you know, you don't have to worry about it moving on you until you're done, then you can uh, extend that tapered screw that opens the jaws, and uh, then you can get it out, so, anyway, and so what you do is you pretty much balance the bullet right there and you run the ram up and then you point the bullet okay it's that simple so anyway that's just uh, just kind of want to give you a quick peek at the at the bullet pointer by Witten we're going to be using it uh, to point bullets just want to give you guys a quick peek at the uh, Witten uh, bullet pointer, which uh, we're going to be using to uh, point uh, bullets when we kind of get started on the uh, on the uh, on the entire process of of how I sort bullets, prep bullets, point bullets, trim bullets, and then we're gonna move on to brass prep. And uh, once we get through all that. Then we're going to move on to uh, actually tuning the rifle. Once we get through that, uh, we'll take that rifle to some uh, some matches and uh, see how we do with it. And I hope to take you guys along for the ride, and uh, just so you can kind of see how I do everything. Um, this is a brand new die to me. Uh, what happens? I meant. Uh, I've known John Witten for a long time, but we never met. Him and I both shoot for Team Lapua. 
and uh, I saw him over at uh, at Burger Nationals this year and I told him uh, what I was doing and he was aware of my YouTube channel and and I told him uh, that I wanted to uh, you know show the entire process of everything and, and um, he was generous enough that he donated uh, this die so that I could show you guys you know how how it works and uh, and the benefits of it uh, which are you know you guys might be wondering what are the benefits of pointing a bullet well to, obviously you would increase your BC but if you have two different bullets the first step is to trim them we trim the meat plate and let me get some bullets out to show you you have two bullets okay so the first step would be to uh, trim the trim the meat plates uh, head spaced by the O drive so on the die it would head space somewhere I mean not on the die but on the trimmer you know it would head space on the on the on the O drive so from here to here we would get a very consistent distance okay the entire O drive would be very uh, very consistent that's step number one uh, by doing that we're actually going to sacrifice some BC but in 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 return we're gonna get more consistent BC which is in reality what we're after once we have these consistent then we point them both the same you know we use the bullet pointer we point them the same at which point we get our BC back and we might even we might even get uh, a gain but again what we're really after is uh, consistent BC that's really what you're getting from a uh, bullet pointer uh, again a lot of guys think it's it's to increase the BC but uh, in my opinion the the uh, the real gain is, is from uh, consistent BC because you know what we do is uh, we get these bullets uh, you know once they leave the barrel they're they're gone we have no control over them anymore so as you guys all know I, I tune my rifles at 100 yards so if my bullets are going through one hole at 100 yards we now have two points where we know they are the, the all the shots are together which is the muzzle of the rifle and 100 yards so now we have two points which means they're already all going down the same path if we have low ES we know the vertical dispersion is going to be minimal the only thing at that point that can make the bullet deviate is for it to have a different BC than the rest and that's why we have to uh, trim and point bullets and obviously sort them as well but anyway now I'm kinda getting into bullet sorting and that's another topic so anyway uh, again here's the wooden gunworks uh, pointing die which is uh, what we're going to be using for uh, for the videos uh, the next video that I need to do and I'm probably not going to do a video on it at this point but uh, I'm gonna do a this is what we're gonna be using for uh, to check our concentricity this is a 21st century concentricity gauge and uh, a lot of you guys know John Perkins he, he does a lot for the game and he's a competitor himself but uh, anyway we're gonna be using this gauge to uh, check or load the rounds as we go along to make sure that uh, our process is working like it should and then we're going to be pointing our bullets with a with a wooden uh, pointing die then obviously we're going to be using the RCBS charge master the Omega trickler which you guys have already seen and also the Sartorius uh, GD503 scale um, we're going to be using the drawer trimmer the Forster coax uh, anyway most of these you guys have already seen so uh, anyway uh, I'm hoping I have a little more time now uh, the house is still taking up a lot of our time 
but once we get the house done, it, it's uh, it's really gonna help uh, with my videos because I'm gonna I'm gonna have a, lo a lot more time. But anyway, uh, stick around and uh, there's a lot more to come. Thank you.